Hey you, welcome to the Best of Luxury Beauty 2021 week, where each day this week was dedicated to the best of luxury in beauty for 2021. Today it's all about lipsticks, lip glosses, and I'm going to throw in a few little treats because, you know, lip care, it's a thing. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we begin, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my channel over the years and being a part of this with me. Truly appreciate you so much. <laughs> and 2021 was, was a year, <laughs> you know, and I'm grateful that I'm able to come on my little space here on the internet and have such good relationships with so many of you. And I truly appreciate you all and your continued support. And I just wanted to say thank you. So I'm not gonna get mushy because I definitely can. <laughs> but I just wanted to take a moment to truly say thank you. So for today's okay. look, I am using my Louis Vuitton Beauty. This is the eyeshadow palette. I have this really pretty pink all over the lid. And then I went in with this kind of bronzy, peachy, just beautifulness as well. And then a little bit of this to darken up the look to really, you know, vamp it up a little bit. Um, all the other products and everything we talk about today will be listed and linked for you down below in the description box. Shall we begin? And I'm going to start off with what I like to call my lip care products. I think lip care is just so vital, so important, and a lot of times is overlooked. I think prepping your lips for then wearing a product on top of it for majority of your day is, is it's a vital step. And for me, 2021 was a lot of lip care. <laughs> a lot of these products I keep in my purse. I keep beside the bed. I keep it within reach so there's no excuse for me to walk around with a nothing but the best smoothed, loved, and cared for lips. No matter how much water I drink, you guys, I'm I have a dry lip problem, okay? <laughs> so I want to start off with probably the product that I really enjoyed thoroughly and the most throughout this year. And it's by Lawless. This is a new discovery for me. It's a newer brand to me. I think the brand is new. I don't know too, too much about it. But this is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Lip Line Smoothing. Okay. And this is what the little applicator looks like. It looks like a little spoon. This is what I will apply before I start my makeup. This has to go on first. I have a ton of lines in my lip and my lips are always dry. So I enjoy products that give a little plump because that helps smooth my lines and hydrates and nourishes my lips. And this does that. Now with the whole plumping thing, you're kind of like, okay, Mo, you don't need to plump a thing. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I prefer a plumping product because it's going to smooth the lips. Now, this in particular, the plumping effect is not like your Too Faced plumping effect where it burns. No, this does not burn. This is a, it gives a little bit of a little something. You feel something. Okay, let's, let's not, <laughs> but it's very subtle, very manageable, and it's so effective. Now, the great thing about this is it's not something I only use before makeup. I do also use it throughout the day whenever I'm just hanging around or I'm just running to Target or running, you know, running errands and such. When I just want a little something, I want to be nourished. It gives a beautiful gloss as well. I hope I mentioned that. I don't remember, but it gives a beautiful gloss. You're nourished, smooths your lips, and you just, you're left with very beautiful, juicy, cared for lips. And they did... I think it was for the holiday. They came out with a set. I think it was a couple of them. I only have one here because they're scattered throughout purses and all over the house. But um, they came out with the little mini guys, which was so perfect. Next up, I have another lip loving care for your lip product. This one is from Christian Dior. This is the Lip Glow. This is the Color Reviving Balm. 
I believe this is newer packaging because I know this has been around, okay? This is not like a new product per se, but I think they came out with more colors and changed the packaging a little bit. But this is the shade that I went with, I think. Is this the No, this is a new one. Uh, I can't see. <laughs> so tiny. It's beige. 013 beige. This stays in my purse. I always have this with me. And what's great about it is it's a balm that's going to nourish and hydrate your lips and very, very comfortable to wear. But it gives just the most beautiful soft tint as well. Nothing over the top, super comfortable and just easy. Now this next product, when it first came out, I was all over it. And then they came out recently with new updated packaging. And I remember when I first tried it, the first thing I said was, oh man, I wish that they would just change the packaging because the product's really good. But they needed to change the packaging. And yes, they listened and thank you so much. So I'm gonna show the original, okay? We started here. <laughs> This is the Summer Fridays. This is the Lip Butter Balm. And it is just that. It's a Lip Butter Balm. <laughs> Very rich and hydrating. This is something I more so like to wear at bedtime because it's a little bit more rich. You can definitely wear it throughout the day. I have. And I find now with the newer packaging, it's a lot easier to control how much you put on. But I love this. This is so good. So here's the newer packaging. So the old packaging. Okay, so here they are side by side. So you can see side by side, here they are. Now the old packaging, it was literally just a top that you squeeze the product down, okay? And that, you didn't have a lot of control, so I always had like too much, but it was enough because I made it work, okay? Can't complain. But the new pack, but, but the new packaging, oh my gosh, thank you. It has this applicator so much better really really great balm and super hydrating really good stuff now this next lip loving product is from Shantikai now I highly 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 dislike the packaging okay it's bulky and I just feel like if you're gonna go this route give us like a little mirror just and for what amount of products in there, I just feel like it could have been a little bit different. But that to the side, I love this. Let me show you up close what it looks like. So the name of this is their Lip Potion. And you know Shantikai, it's going to have that good for you ingredient. And what I really enjoy most about this is the texture. The texture is so lightweight, but packs a punch because it's so hydrating. When I first touched it, obviously this product, especially in pot, in a pot like this, you definitely want to make sure you have clean hands, okay? Or you go in with a, a Q-tip, skin spatula, you know, you get it. Um, but when I first felt the texture, I was like, oh, this is going to like dissipate. I'm not going to really feel it after a while but no it's so hydrating and comfortable and effective at giving my lips the care and love that they need that I was totally okay looking beyond the packaging because I really like the actual product and it smells really nice. So let's talk about some lipsticks. We'll start off with the one that I'm wearing today and it's from House of Siage. This like this packaging excuse me okay like what? It's the details of it all. The highest of quality, the bougiest of the bouge. Like, it's House of Siage. You're gonna expect and get nothing but the best through and through. So just knocked it out the park with the packaging as we've come to expect, okay? Now this lipstick is in the shade Playful Nude. Now this is from the, um, collaboration that they did with Disney. Absolutely love the color. It's a very wearable nude formula on House of Siage's lipsticks. So nourishing, so comfortable. They wear really well. They are traditional lipsticks. So you don't mind taking this with you to touch up need be after you eat, after you've just had it on for too long. But what's really nice is they're so nourishing and hydrating on your lips that 
over time as the color may fade throughout the day of eating and just, you know, your lips are felt, your, your lips are left feeling hydrated and comfortable. Some lipsticks, after they wear off, your lips kind of feel dry. You're not going to experience that with this at all. Here is a swatch. And then, you know, on the lips. This next lipstick, it's newer. It's something that I discovered towards the end of the year. But towards the end of 2021, I kind of had a moment with bolder lip colors and I think that moment's gonna continue okay so in the summer I'm looking forward to like some magentas and some pink lips colors and I'm just like I'm excited for it but with that said the next lipstick is from Le Perla yes the Le Perla the lingerie brand look at this packaging how pretty is this super pretty right and this is in the shade 104 Tangled Red. Mm, this is so beautiful. Here is a swatch. She's more of like an orange red, which makes it even that much more fun. It's kind of like my nail polish. This is Orange Poppy by Hermes. And I'm into those orangey reds. We love a blue-based red. But an orangey red is just a little more fun, just a little different, just, you know, just a little different, we like. Um, but this is truly a matte, silky formula. Super smooth, very creamy upon application, and wears so beautifully. A very comfortable formulation. And yeah, I'm going to need more of these. I do believe these are refillable as well. Yes, you can buy refills, and they have different finishes, formulations, and they're dabbling into the world of beauty. You know, I've seen some mascaras and liners and... I'm really enjoying the brand so far and I mean I've only tried one thing but beautiful lip color beautiful next up we have a lipstick from Hermes I know I know <laughs> I still stand okay when I spoke of the packaging that it wasn't my favorite but that doesn't mean I don't like the actual product but Here's the packaging, you know. You probably are like, Mo, what is your beef with the packaging? It's fine. We don't gotta talk about it right now, okay? It's okay if someone doesn't like something that you love. This is a satin lipstick in the shade Rose Epice, I believe. It's a very wearable color, very creamy right here. It's a little bit more pink than this one that I'm wearing today. But it's a very true to me mo color. It's something that I'm always reaching for. I love wearing these tones of lipsticks because I can go ahead and have a bolder eye look and not clash. Plus, I just like those colors, okay? <laughs> the formulation on this is very, very comfortable, smooth upon application, very pigmented. It's not something you're sitting there trying to build up. It's a beautiful performing lipstick as well. Of the Hermes lipsticks that I have, I thoroughly enjoy this one the most in 2021. Next up is from a brand that I don't have too much from, but the products that I do have, I really enjoy. NARS. This is something a little different and it's fun. And I was highly influenced <laughs> to get this lip product by Venice Loves. She just made it look so good, and I was just like, yes, I need it, so I have it. This is called Soft Matte Tinted Lip Balm. I know. Simple packaging. It's not magnetic, it's something you have to physically make sure is shut, but this is what it looks like. Let me give you a swatch. What I like about this is it's a bomb, but it's matte. <laughs> like, how did you do that? You know, it's very pretty. It's perfect for your no makeup days. And the color is so pretty. It's definitely not as pink as the others that I've showed you so far, but it's really comfortable for a matte because it's got that cross between a bomb and a matte, but it's lightweight. It almost feels like there's nothing on your lips. So it's giving you that lightweight balm with color. Good pigment too. In comparison, I'm going to swatch the Dior Balm beside it. Okay. Because when you think of a balm, you're thinking that there's not going to be much pigment. Because look at the Dior, you're getting a little tint. But 
With the NARS, you're definitely getting a true color with that balm formulation and texture and lightweight feel and matte. So like, yeah, <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed that one. Another end of year discovery that has to be included and it falls under that new I'm feeling good about wearing bold lips. <laughs> it's from Vive. This is the... What are these called? I think these are called the Modern Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Muse. Look at this packaging. Yes, it reminds me of Tom Ford, but it's a but it's got texture here. And it's a very nice component. And just wait till you see the color. It is the most beautiful red shade. And it's that matte finish, but it's a creamy, comfortable matte that you'll want to wear and it wears well. It's lightweight, it's comfortable, and it's just a truly beautiful red lipstick. I'm enjoying this one a ton. Another one that's a little bit more of a recent discovery. And then when I tried it, I was like, why has no one told me about these? Not that I haven't tried the lipsticks from this brand, but not the finish. I always was like, oh, let me get a satin, I need hydration. But this, the Dior Velvet Finish, this one is in the shade Winter Poppy. This is from their Holiday Atelier of Dreams collection. It's got that packaging. The lipstick is limited edition, but the finish is not. It's in that velvet finish. And oh my gosh, wow. I have been wearing this so much. Look at this color. Isn't that so pretty? And it's bold. Like this, if you compare these swatches to last year's Best of Beauty swatches, you're going to be like, wait, <laughs> it was so nice to step out and try other colors and, you know, more of, because I have bold colors, but you know what I mean. Anywho, back to what I'm talking about. You see, I'm digressing. <laughs> um, this Dior Velvet lipstick is everything. It is so comfortable. It feels so lightweight on your lips. You almost forget you're wearing it. Every time I wear this out to eat, I feel like I smile more because like it's giving you that little boost and it just makes your teeth so white too, this shade. And it wears really well, even after I eat a whole meal. It's barely needs a touch up. I can kind of just rub my lips together like this and refresh it. It doesn't per se need you to go back in, but of course, depending on what you've eaten, if you ate, you know, anything greasy or that has a lot of oil in it, you're going to need to touch up. Love my Gucci lipsticks, and I'm so looking forward to more from Gucci this year. I did pick up some new Gucci lipsticks, and I can't wait to try them because there's some little secrets that I want to share with you in regards to them. Anywho, I picked these three out of my collection. These are my most used, my most loved. And I had to. I know I talked about her last year, but she deserves to be talked about again because I constantly reach for her. I'm constantly using and love my Penny Beige. Look at the packaging. You, I love that they did this. Different finishes have different packaging. So the matte, the satin, I'll quickly, I mean, you probably already know this but different packaging for different finishes, you know, different finishes. We love that. It's, it's, a, it's a good touch, you know, but my Penny Beige, but here's my Penny Beige. She's not cute. <laughs> she gets a lot of use, but here is Penny Beige. We'll put Penny Beige right here. This is my favorite nude lipstick, and I say that very proudly, okay? This is such a pretty tone of nude. I think it's perfectly described. Penny beige. It's that beigey tone. It is so beautiful, and this is the satin finish. It's super comfortable, a beautiful formulation that you want to wear and enjoy every time that you do. Yes, Gucci. The next one is Mona Lessie Cameo. This one is a little darker. Not cute either. 
<laughs> I like I'm hesitant to show you the bullet because it's like worn but let me show you that swatch I'll put it right below this one it's a darker she is a darker tone but oh my gosh a darker tone lipstick it just you just it like changes your mood you feel like you can just like you know <laughs> But it too, the formulation on this one is a matte, but it too is a very comfortable matte. It's not a drying matte. I've made that clear. I can't do matte lipsticks if it's going to make me look like my lips are dry. I can't do it. <laughs> but the Gucci formulation on their matte lipsticks is phenomenal. Very comfortable and it doesn't look like a matte. It just doesn't have a lot of that gloss that you get with uh, the other finished lipsticks. Like, you know, right here you can see the matte compared to the satin. Yeah. So this next one is a recent repurchase because I had to. Agatha Orange. This lip color is what really opened the door for me loving red orange lipstick. Like I would have never if it hadn't been for Agatha Orange. This is the most wearable and beautiful orange red lipstick. Like seriously you know maybe let me swatch it beside the la perla lipstick and let's compare yeah the gucci agatha orange is definitely more orange and the la perla is more of the red and then orange but i tell you agatha orange it's one of those lipsticks no matter what you wear it with it looks good it's that it's just a perfect tone of orange that you can wear on your lips. It makes a statement, but you can wear it confidently. It's just so fun and beautiful. First up, I have my Le Mat Silo. This is a matte lipstick crayon. This one is in the shade Meadows. Looks like that. This is, I didn't know what to expect, honestly, but this is such a wearable, pinky nude kind of tone that is just so easy to wear and very comfortable very creamy it really doesn't feel like a matte it's another one of those products that does not feel like a matte lipstick on your lips at all and if anything i'd say it was the most similar to the one i have on my lips now which is from house of siage but it's a totally different product the color may be close but it's a totally different product <laughs> next up this is called what are these called exactly the lip tint hydrating balm <laughs> this is in the shade beach rose it's a balm like it sounds we love this packaging very sleek and slim okay very luxe and this is this is what the color looks like. And what's nice about this, okay, is it's one of those bombs that you build up. Okay, let me swatch it over here. Right here. It is a very soft pink, but on your lips, it gives you that just enough color to where you feel like you have a little something on and not just a clear bomb. It gives you just enough color. Okay. Next up is this beauty right here. Let's take a moment for this packaging, please and thank you. Yes. This is the Lip Chic in Rose de Mai. I'll just say it. You already know, but I'm going to say it. I, I got it for the packaging, okay? But then the actual lip product took me by surprise this year. I was like, ooh, I really like that. I'm going to keep using it. Chantikai's Lip Chics are very comfortable and creamy and super hydrating here she is over here it's a beautiful pink tone that's so wearable and comfortable and your lips are hydrated You're getting that nice beautiful pinky tone and it's just a comfortable lipstick to wear overall but it's not a lip is this a lipstick maybe not maybe it's like a balm lip <laughs> lip chic the lip color from their summer collection look at this beautiful packaging it's that magnetic closure. This is in the shade Capuchin. This is another lip cheek, so it's very creamy and hydrating and comfortable on your lips. We're gonna go down now. Can we? Well, we can maybe I can squeeze it right here. It is another like orangey tone. 
creamy, hydrating, very comfortable. And do you see the hydration that it's given in the swatch? Yes. This is another orangey lip color that is just so pretty and wearable. I'll swatch it beside Agatha Orange so you can see. Swatched beside Agatha Orange, you can see that it has a little bit more of a red to it. But it's such a wearable orangey tone. I'm just so comfortable and hydrating. And then my final lip chic from Chantecaille is this one is in the shade Honeysuckle. This is from the Summer Collection, I believe. Love this packaging. I love what they did with the tops. They give you like a color top. That's what that looks like. Ooh, right here, we'll swatch her right here. What's What I love the most about Chantecaille's lip cheeks, of course they're hydrating and super comfortable to wear and they've got beautiful colors selection but I love that you can go very lightly just do one swipe to have just a little color or you can build it up and I love this color right here this is honeysuckle it's very on par <laughs> with the colors that I love let's talk about Chanel let's start off with this this is the true OG liquid lipstick and these don't dry you out and these do not move these do not when i say these don't move they are not going anywhere these are the most stay put liquid lipstick and what's awesome is you can go in with just the liquid lipstick leave it alone it'll be matte okay but it'll be comfortable or you can you do need to apply this side to set it but you can also go in and like retouch it a little bit you want to say to give it more of that gloss from this end so this is the actual color this is what the little doe foot looks like and what shade is this did i say this is in the shade 166 timeless beige we'll swatch her right here since we have a spot i'm trying not to take off the swatches <laughs> so we can have them all so here is the chanel timeless beige And then just to show you what this end looks like if you're unfamiliar with it is it's a little brush tip applicator and that's where you would put and this is what you would put on top when you're done to set it and to give you a little bit of gloss but this stuff is amazing next up is this lipstick from chanel beautiful classic packaging that you press to release your lipstick this is in the shade low key and this is a rouge allure velvet i will say as much as i love this lipstick it's nothing compared to the other velvet that i i am head over heels for <laughs> from dior it's a very different formulation like very different so let's swatch her right here here it is right here it's a pinky nude I love mixing this with this next lip product I'm going to share with you. This is Chanel's Rouge Allure Lac, I believe is how it's pronounced. Love the packaging. So it's got that little ombre and you get to peek at your color. This is like a liquid lipstick, but it's a glossy liquid lipstick. And this is the color I love to mix with this lipstick that we just swatched. Comes with a little doe foot applicator. I really like this one. It's a little bit bigger, so it fits completely on my lip. Trying to swatch them beside each other. And what's nice about these is you can share them out if you'd like, but you're going to be left with a little bit of glow when you apply these. So that is the shade uh, 62 still right here. And these two look so beautiful mixed together. Such a comfortable formulation. And... I have refrained and I have stopped myself so many times <laughs> from getting too many of these, but the next are the same formulation, <laughs> just in different colors. And I'm, yeah, I think I have enough space to swatch them beside each other. The next color, same formulation from Chanel is number 63 Ultimate. And that's what this one looks like. And I'll show it to you beside still. So this is still lighter and then uh, 
ultimate <laughs> is darker. So then still and ultimate. So it's a little bit darker. So still and then ultimate side by side. And then I have one more. This one is the more fun, more bold color. This is number 80, timeless. It's a darker one in comparison, you know, let's do a quick side by side of all three because I love these. These are my go-to of the, th these are just my go-to, such beautiful packaging. And this is glass. So it's nice, high quality stuff. So here's all three. Still, ultimate, and timeless. Let's talk about Tom Ford lipsticks. I have just a few. A few that I reach for the most. Let's start off with this one. This is new to me. It's not a new lipstick, but when I went to the counter, my essay was like, oh, you might like this color. I don't think you have it. Try it out. And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's all it takes, you know. Tell me, tell me I don't have it. Okay. <laughs> Um, this is the Ultra Shine Lip Color. These are so comfortable. Lip shine, you're going to have a little bit of gloss, and it's more of like a satin finish lipstick. Love this packaging. This one, in comparison to the traditional, it's more of a longer, thinner tube. This is in the shade Nubily. What did you expect? <laughs> Give you a swatch of Nubly. It's a really pretty color. Wears beautifully. I thoroughly enjoy this one. Very, very, very comfortable formula. And just look at the color. It's so pretty. Next one. Same kind of packaging. This one is the Lip Color Satin. And this is in Blush Honey. This was a pain in the you-know-what to get. They can't keep this in stock. It's a very popular color, I just have to assume. And this is the packaging. This is more of the traditional Tom Ford colors. And this is what she looks like. <laughs> but this one is not as glossy as the other one that we just tried. It's so creamy and comfortable and smooth and beautiful. But this tone is a lot lighter, definitely more nude. This is this one that's like more pinky and stuff. But love those two. And yes, you know me, I love my lipstick cocktails. Yes, I have. If you're curious, I have mixed these two together. And chef's kiss. Not a new shade, okay, but just new packaging. For years and years and years and years, I was just constantly repurchasing the shade Casablanca. Love Casablanca. Beautiful color. You can wear it every single day. But I tried this. I've had I've had I've tried this color before, but I I don't think I paid attention to it. So I said to myself, this for now, for now, <laughs> is going to replace Casablanca. I'm going to try this one out for a little while, and then I'll go back to Casablanca, and then I'll probably like fall in love with Casablanca all over again. But this is Indian Rose, and they actually do have this packaging with Casablanca. But you see how good I've been? I didn't get it, because I really like this one. This is Indian Rose. <laughs> Indian Rose right here. Now this one is a new color. This is the N5 Blazing Kiss. I didn't expect to like this one as much as I did because it's a little darker. It's still in the pinky family, but it's a little darker, but it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Such a pretty pinky family. So these are my favorite lipsticks from Tom Ford for 2021. Nubla, Blush Honey, Indian Rose, and Blazing Kiss. Yes. I love lip glosses so much. Sometimes I question, do I like lip glosses more than I like lipsticks? I don't know. But I love gloss. If you told me I had to choose, I'd probably choose a gloss. But I'm not going to lie. A lot of these lipsticks nowadays, they're like gloss is kind of sort of because of their formulation. They're just as comfortable as a gloss. But I I truly think in my heart of hearts, I'm always going to be a gloss girl. <laughs> From like high school days where I was a little gloss, you know. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Anywho, but I just have a couple of glosses that I want to share with you. First off. These Rowan glosses. Look at the packaging. Take a moment and just check out this packaging. How pretty. Like, how pretty. So the official name is... You guys, these things are so... 
hold on a minute. These words are so tiny. It's so tiny. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, no, not yet. <laughs> okay, liquid lip balms. I thoroughly enjoy them. And look at the applicator. This packaging just did it for me. Like, it's so nice. These are a little bit minty. So it's not something I was expecting. And it doesn't really, like, do anything. It's just minty. Yeah. So Remy, Charlie, and Scout. They look similar, but this is a lot lighter, more nudie than this one in the center and then this dark one. It's so pretty because you can kind of sheer it out or you can kind of put a little bit more to build it up. But it gives you just enough of that reddish, burgundy-esque, you know, kind of like cranberry color on your lips. And there's, do you see the gloss? It's so glossy. They're so glossy and comfortable and just really beautiful. Super beautiful. And then, you know, <laughs> I love my Tom Ford glasses and I have two for you. It was hard <laughs> because I think you guys know my staple by now, but these really were great as well. So this one is from Summer. This is the Sunlust Lip Super Gloss, this one, that I said I wasn't going to get. And then my essay was like, look, and I was like, oh. <laughs> She literally started applying it and showing me that you're not getting a gold gloss on your lip. You're actually getting color. And I was like, wait, what? Add to cart. Add to my basket. Put it in the thing. Put it in the pile. <laughs> so it comes with a little doe foot applicator. And let me make sure you can see. It's something that you apply and as you warm it up, it changes to like this peachy pinky tone that is just so gorgeous so glossy look there you go that's like the perfect yep yep the last beauty that i'm going to share with you is the gloss Lux in the shade honey eyed coral love the formulation on these this has got to be the best gloss out there it's so comfortable it doesn't feel like a gloss it's not sticky it's just beautiful I was wearing this in one of our videos this week and this color in particular because I have a few from the new colors um this was actually recommended by one of you guys and I'm so grateful I love when you guys do that and like put me on to stuff and you're like well you need to try that you're gonna like it and I'm like you're probably right let me go try it <laughs> so this was one of those and it is such a beautiful color and look at the packaging it is the same packaging as a concealer, very luxe, very Tom Ford. You're just like, oh, excuse me, I need to go reapply my gloss. Pull this thing out, and you're like, oh. <laughs> Comes with a doe foot applicator. I always have to like go careful when I get there. Okay. Doe foot applicator. Very, very pretty. This has a little sparkle to it. Like you can kind of see it. If you can get close, you can see the sparkle. This does have sparkle sparkles in it but you don't really get a lot of sparkle on the lip it just gives you the most beautiful it the sparkles don't transfer per se where you feel like you have like glitter particles it just makes the gloss more shiny and your lips look more juicy and plump and just everything you want so the honey eyed coral and the sunless lip the Rowan glosses, and then the Tom Ford lipsticks. So yeah, lots of lip products. I mean, there's more, but I had to narrow it down, you know? We could talk about it forever. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much, so much for spending this year with me. This year was, personally, it was a year, you know? But... This is our happy place. We can come and we can just, we can get through the things, you know? I appreciate you so much for hanging out and your support and your love. Thank you all so much. It's my water bottle. We're going to use this. <laughs> Here's to 2022. All the makeup we will buy and all the makeup we have that we will love. To positivity, to good and happiness in 2022.
You gotta seal it with a drink, a sip. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Stay beautiful. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.